Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on how we can use SQL scripting in SnowSight and if there is any difference uh, in the way of writing the code. So there is a sli slight difference uh, in the way you write code in SnowSight versus classic web UI that we are going to see in this demo. And uh, just wanted to inform like if you have not gone through my recent series of SQL scripting, uh, then I would recommend you to please go through that because I have captured lots of detail over there. Uh, let's start with the demo so we today we are going to connect with the classic web ui and i am going to use the same database which i have used in my previous video and i'm going to recreate the same uh, demo which i have created in the classic web ui now i will just use the same demo and uh, do a slight change and show you what is the difference between the way it was written in the classic web ui versus in snow site so I'm going to use the same database as SQL scripting and I'm going to use the same schema as public. So now my context has been set up. So if you remember, I have created the similar procedure in the classic web UI. If you go here, you will see the same procedure. So I'm going to create the same procedure. The only difference you will see over here that I have not used the dollar dollar sign. But if you go on classic web UI, you will see that I have used the dollar dollar sign earlier. So if, I, if you go here, you will see that whenever we create any procedure in classic web UI, we have to use the dollar dollar sign in the beginning and the end. And our PL SQL code resides in between this dollar dollar sign. And if we don't provide this dollar dollar sign while compiling this code, it will fail. But the same is not required in snow site. So if I execute this, you will see that there is no dollar dollar sign. Let me create this. And you will see it will create successfully so here i have just changed the name of the function to two so that we have two version of the script so it's created successfully without any issue and now if i pass this uh, with the name rajiv it will say hello rajiv and if i will not provide any name say if i pass null it will say default value with hello world so let's see if it give me the proper value which i'm expecting so it give me the hello world now if i go and pass the null it will give me hello world so that you you can remember that the similar demo you have seen uh, in my previous video where i was trying to show you how it works with classic web ui but the same thing has been slightly changed that now we don't have to use that extra dollar dollar sign to wrap our code between them similarly if you want to use the same way for anonymous block circle block you can do in the same way so here i am setting the parameter session level parameter with a null value so that my code will show me hello world and if i change it to rajiv it will show me the hello rajiv if say i set this value to rajiv and if i execute again it will show me the hello rajiv now one thing is very surprising that you won't able to compile this code without dollar dollar, dollar sign in the uh, web ui but if i create this procedure over here and if i say copy this and if i go back here and if i go at the end and if i try to run the same code over here it will work so you remember that it start with like it in with two so if i just go and uh, execute this over here you will see the output over here and if I execute with null, it will say me hello world. So the issue is only uh, when you are compiling the code, but not with the execution of the code. So once you compile that in Snow site, you are good to go with execution even in uh, web UI or Snow site. The output will not change or it will not create any issue. The issue is only lying with the compilation of the code and the difference between. Uh, uh, how you write the code and uh, when you when it comes to compilation between snow site versus classic web ui so hope you like this demo and uh, see you soon with the upcoming demos and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel thank you